What it do, baby? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I feel like I haven't filmed in a long time and it's really only been about a week, but I guess I was just uploading so frequently that I kind of got out of it and now I just feel like I haven't been in front of the camera in a second, but I am back and I am going to give you guys a favorites video. I am just here to show you guys what I have really been loving, what I feel like is definitely worth it to buy. And I wanna start off with fragrance because you guys know that's just what I always wanna talk about. I love perfume. But the first thing, if you guys watched like a vlog to, I think it was two vlogs ago, I purchased this Anisio Perfumes Privés Atomic Rose. And I'm just really, really loving it, honestly. I know I love a fragrance, and for me, how I fall in love with a fragrance is if I spray it on someone else, and I'm around them, and I start smelling it, that's how I fall in love with it more than whenever I spray it on me. Because you just don't get the same feeling of when it's on you, because you get, your nose becomes blind to it, and you just can't really get an ob objective view. This is just really so beautiful. It's a little bit peppery, rosy, super strong. Definitely don't have to spray too much of this. It's just quality perfumery right here. It's amazing, I'm obsessed. It is a little bit synthetic, so if you don't like synthetic fragrances, I wouldn't recommend, but to me, this smells like if you were to mix Parfums de Marly and Baccarat Rouge and make one perfume, that's what this would be, which is amazing for me because that's like my two favorite perfumes in one 10 out of 10 would suggest it's really expensive definitely get a tester or go to the store and test it on yourself before you buy it because you want to make sure you love it 100 percent so the next thing in fragrance that i want to tell you guys about is this montal intense cafe oh my gosh okay so i don't love this packaging i appreciate it because it's different it's a point for being unique. It just kind of stands out like a sore thumb on my vanity and I don't love that. But what matters is that the juice inside of it smells so good. I got this as a sample. And at first I got it with like five other fragrances. And at first I didn't even look twice at it. I was just like, I can't even really smell anything. Then one day I was just hanging out, literally doing nothing. And I was just hanging out watching movies on my couch and I sprayed it on myself and I was like a freaking fiend. I was like, <sighs> it smells so good. I'm not kidding you, this smells delicious. I don't know if this is considered a gourmand, but to me, this fragrance is definitely edible. It's like a comforting scent to me and like a really chill scent, but like I also know that I smell bomb, which I love. And this is more a fragrance that I would wear for myself I know I mentioned that I like to test fragrance out, fragrances out on my friends to see if I how I really like them, but I love this for myself because this just personally smells delicious to me and I love smelling myself with this on. And I love this because it's not too expensive, but it is a niche brand. For niche brands, for you to get a really good price on a niche brand is amazing and it's just the quality is amazing. I think this was like $100 or something and it's a... 50 ml bottle and you don't really need more than that because it's super strong so would definitely suggest but always get a sample before you buy any perfume so now i want to move on to makeup and i want to mention this milk hydro grip primer okay so i was not a big primer person i've never really seen the hype of primers i never thought they really did anything and then this baby just, you know, creeped into my life and was like, hi, hello, how are you? And I was like, oh, hi, you're amazing, stay forever. It's so good, honestly. I actually feel like it does something. It just kind of makes my makeup all melt into each other and I just love, love, love that. And it's really hydrating and makes you look a little bit more finished, your makeup lasts longer. And that's coming from someone who's tried a lot of primers and never really seen a difference. This is just really thick too, which I feel like a lot of primers can be really watery and thin, but I really like how thick this is and it just feels really sticky. I'm just obsessed, definitely would recommend this. So the next thing I mentioned in my get ready with me and I mentioned that I always mess up her YouTube name. It's a really weird YouTube name, but it's SMX10. She had a favorites video of 
all of 2020 and this was in her recommended and I have been a Laura Mercier Laura Mercier stan for their powder for years so this has gotten me off of that and I think that in and of itself says so much because for me to like a makeup product for that long and then to switch over to something else I haven't touched my Laura Mercier since I've gotten this not saying that I I think this is better than Laura Mercier but this is just got my got my heart right now so i just think this is amazing it just makes you look super super airbrushed and just bakes you flawlessly it's 100 percent true translucent it's not going to change you colors i will say that you do get a little bit of flashback if you don't wipe it off enough so make sure you wipe it off enough but other than that seriously this is amazing i love the finish that this gives me i just feel super airbrushed and like everything is just staying in its spot and it's not going anywhere the next thing is kind of like a moisturizer i am one thing about me i'm a lot of things honey but dry is not one i am moisturized to the gods at any point of time okay you will not catch me slipping on my moisturizer as soon as i get out of the shower i'm applying a heavy layer a moisturizer whether that be lotion or whether that be some sort of oil so i stumbled across this at ulta it's a sweet almond carrier oil and then it has some essential oils right next to it and apparently you're supposed to mix the two and i was like wow that's amazing i've never really mixed my oils with an essential oil and i was like why have i never thought of that <laughs> i was just like wow so i got this rose flavored flavored i got this rose scented essential oil because i'm just i'm a like the atomic rose i think intense cafe might have some rose in it too i'm just a rose person i love rose scented things so today and two days ago i put this sweet almond carrier oil i just put like a lot into the palm of my hand i put like two drops of the rose and it's the best of both worlds because you get super hydrated and you have a sort of like a natural scent that's you know, kind of really gonna react with your hormones really well because it's natural and it's just such a nice scent and this is gonna go really well with any perfume that you have because rose usually goes really good with any perfume, especially because it's not a mixture of anything, it's just pure rose. So I'm just really loving this. It's, I feel like a concoctor, a concoctor whenever I'm mixing these and putting on my body and it's just moisturizing and it smells so good. So I would definitely suggest you guys Go check out Ulta. They have different kinds of these oils and different kinds of essential oils so you can really play around with whatever you want and you can even probably mix essential oils. Just make sure you're diluting it enough because I don't need any of you guys getting rashes or anything crazy, okay? So the next thing I got from Ulta for my moisture is this The Body Shop British Rose. This, it's, gorgeous it smells so good i feel so feminine after my shower and i'm putting this on it just i smell just delicious like i just said i'm obsessed with rose stuff right now i don't know what it is but i just love the smell of this i feel so feminine i feel so clean i feel so moisturized this is really thick you definitely can tell a difference after you put this on on your skin especially in the colder months we need to be taking extra care of that moisture in our bodies so would definitely suggest this. It's not too expensive either. And it's just really amazing. Honorable mention to Lush lotions because I truly think they are the creme de la creme of moisturizers. I love Lush lotions. They're my all time favorites, but I don't have a scent that I love right now from Lush. I have the Pansy and I use it just for the moisture, but I'm not crazy about the scent. The scent is nice. It's just not something I'm crazy about, so I didn't want to include it, but the Lush line of lotions is top tier. The next thing that I want to mention is kind of in its own category, but it's stationary. I'm not sure if I talked about this before, but this is the Le Agenda. Okay, this has stuff all over it. The Le Agenda from Papier. And first of all, this, like the packaging is the cutest thing I've ever seen adorable obsessed i'm just really into this planner right now because i feel like it's everything that you need in a planner all in one without being too much and without being too little you write down all of your goals to start and then every four weeks you revisit them it has a prompt where you can actually go back and revisit them which is so amazing i've never even seen that in a planner 
And I've tried a lot of planners, okay? I've tried a lot and there are very few that I actually stick with and this is one, so I feel like that's really good. You go through your weekly overview, so it has just like, just a rough draft of what you expect your week to be like. And then you have all of your priorities and like what you really wanna get done that week. You also have your menu. So you have like a shopping list and what you're expecting to eat. I personally eat the same thing all week because I'm not trying to plan out meals, different meals for every single day of the week. So week, I take it by week by week basis. So I usually change the Mondays to like first meal, second meal, third meal and so on and so forth. But you can do it however you'd like. The daily schedule, so I like that it has like the schedule and the to-dos and the priorities. I just think that's a really just everything you would need out of a planner and there's nothing missing that I wish it had and I think it just covers all the bases so well. I'm just obsessed and I love how cute it looks. I feel very French almost with this, like with the legenda and it, you can get it customized where it says your name. I got this for Val for Christmas because she's like the most organized bitch of I've ever met in my life and I just think it's so cute, like top tier planner. Top tier planner tings. Next thing I wanna talk about is jewelry because I have been loving a gold jewelry moment. Gonna shout out Val again here, but she really put me on to gold jewelry, my trendy queen. I have been just loving gold jewelry. I used to be a silver, a silver lover, but I fully converted, haven't worn silver in months. Specifically, I love Anthropology's jewelry. They really just do it so right. And I have a couple pieces from them that I just am always reaching for. Typically, if I have a necklace on, it's probably Anthropology. These earrings that I wear pretty much every day are from Anthropology. And I just think they're so cute and like elegant and adorable. The first one that I love is this Scorpio necklace. It's just so cute. It's like a little uh, quarter pendant pressed thing and the chain. Love the detail. And then there is this universe one. Apparently it is a card, like a tarot card almost kind of thing. And it's that pressed, really trendy kind of gold plate. And it has a little crystal in the corner right there, which I just love as well. And I think that's just so cute. This really cute S one. And I think it's just really cute how it clasps right there. And this one, kind of more like a choker and it says stay. Oop. It says stay in your magic. So cute. Absolutely love them. So if you guys haven't already checked out Anthropology's jewelry selection, I think you really should because it's all very just on trend and really cute. And I think they just do a really good job with their jewelry. The last thing that I wanna talk about, which I haven't really been buying a lot of lately, most of my attention has been on more beauty and fragrance lately, especially just with quarantine. I mean, I don't know why it's on fragrance with quarantine. I haven't really been buying a lot of clothes. I don't know why, but that's just not what my focus has been on at the moment. But I do have two jackets that I wanted to share with you guys because I just think they're definitely good buys that if I lost them today, I would go out and repurchase them because I love them so much. First one is this White Fox Boutique again. Shout out to Val, my trendy icon. She showed me White Fox Boutique and the quality, the cuteness, everything is just there. It's so good. So this jacket, I love. It's so cute and it has this tie at the bottom, which I love because I'm very short, so nothing ever falls exactly on the right spot for me. So this, you can put it there yourself and make sure that it's going to stop at the right spot for you or wherever you want it, which I love. And I just think the kind of washed, like, what do you call this? The washed, like, I don't know, grungy gray is such a vibe. And the second jacket, surprise, surprise, <laughs> another Scorpio item is this Good American Scorpio hoodie. And I just think it's really, really cute. Oh my God, my dog just came and sat in my lap, little sweetie. It's this really cute Scorpio hoodie from Good American. I think it's just perfect, especially in these times. I love a good comfy sweater and this is just that. It's like a, I think it's labeled as a boyfriend sweater and I could totally see that. But I just think it's super cute how you can get your personalized astrological sign on it and it just feels kind of personal that way. So absolutely love these, but definitely check them out. I got them at Nordstrom, but they're also on the Good American website. I will try to link 
everything down below for you guys. I hope you guys found something that sparked your eye or that interested you at all. And yeah, I think that's pretty much all I have to say. I really appreciate you watching my video and I really, really appreciate you watching it to the end. Me and Bean really both do. <laughs> uh yeah so thank you guys i really appreciate it i hope you're having an amazing start to your 2021 and i hope you're staying safe and i hope that i will see you in the next youtube video bye y'all i can't miss diamonds on my neck and on my wrist now they trying to get me out of mix that's why me and bro we don't